stand in the doorway, don't block up the hall. For he who gets hurt will be he who has stalled. There's a battle outside, Mr. Mayor, that is raging. It'll soon shake your windows. I don't know what else you can say, ladies and gentlemen, Bob Dylan. That's pretty cool. That's an amazing, amazing thing. Thank you, Bob. I want to thank also those uh, extra voices that joined Bob on stage, the men of the deep pockets, uh, and they are. It was great to see some of our DSOM veterans back up there. So remember, there's a little time left to add to Bob's fundraising totals. Look at this guy. Remember that performance and his story and dig deep. His manager, his father, Rod Bergar, will be happy to help you with that. He's a lawyer, so he knows how to get money out of your pocket. <laughs> Just connect with one of our volunteers now. Two, three, Is four. that? <laughs> On behalf of the Mental Health Foundation of Nova Scotia, I'd like to pass along an enormous, big apple-sized thank you to our performers, agents, volunteers, board members, sponsors, partners, and of course, Steve Dukes and that 40-second band. pours his heart and soul into the evening would truly be an understatement. Steve, we so appreciate your time, your talent, and most of all, your passion to our cause. We also really appreciate all the work you did with the Adels. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. I also want to take a moment to send a special thank you to Kevin Davison, our Spotlight on Mental Health performer tonight. 
I've had the pleasure of getting to know Kevin, and uh, you deserve every ounce of success that's coming your way. It was very kind of you to share your musical abilities and your personal story with us here, and you are absolutely leaving very big shoes for the Spotlight on Mental Health Performer to fill at our 2017 show. So now, because Kevin's a professional, he's not eligible, sorry, for the People's Choice Award tonight. <laughs> Uh, sorry, sorry. So let's give him our People's Choice Award round of applause right now. <laughs> to BMO Bank of Montreal and all of our event sponsors and supporters, thank you for believing in the foundation and the work we do. To our foundation team, Kate, Allison, Colleen, Martha, Sarah, and Kara, Thank you for your long hours and attention to detail. You're the best team in the world. <laughs> to our extraordinary MC, we are so fortunate to have Mayor Mike Savage not just be the MC, but be such a fantastic sport. The Phantom of the Opera will never be the same for me again. <laughs> you know, we heard many voices here tonight. They sang loud and they sang strong, but there's no doubt that the voice that can be the loudest and the strongest is our collective voice. Let's get that message out. Let's let Nova Scotians know that we care, that we have hope for recovery, and that we support them. Thank you so much for being here this evening. Our motto is changing the way people think. All of you are doing that. Bravo, bravo. Now I'll call the Phantom back up the stage. I don't know if Star was your christened name or whether it was something you earned in life, Star, but you are amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, Star Dobson. I want to thank all these folks up on the stage. I think anybody here, when you think about it, um, you know it takes a lot of guts to get up and, and sing. Even if you've got a great natural Stevie Nicks voice, it takes a lot of guts to get up and do this. So these folks have done a great job to their stars, their agents. It's been a fantastic evening of entertainment and I think of inspiration as well. We're going to draw our raffle winner's name in just a moment. But first, we have some awards business to take care of. So let's take a look now at our final tallies of our stars, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see it. Boom. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Where's Stevie Nicks? Stevie Nicks, ladies and gentlemen, $31,588 raised. The women's chorus, $36,940. Our own Kevin Davison, KD. Slightly cheesy, just like KD. Ladies and gentlemen, $42,675. And now this is close, eh? This is really, really uh, close, but what an amazing effort. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Adele, $62,435 raised at this event. And folks, our final act that wrapped up the evening, Bob Dylan, Matt Bergar, $64,356. Bob Dylan, ladies and gentlemen. And that means we have a winner in our top fundraising award. Congratulations to Bob Dylan, to Matt. Where am I at? 
Your hard work will make a great difference in the lives of Nova Scotians who are living with mental illness and their families. And now, for the People's Choice Award, this one will go to the most outstanding performance of the evening as determined by your applause. So, so do I introduce, how do I do this? What do I do? We just mention them and then they... Okay, my applause pen? Okay. Oh, is that what I had last year? This year I've got a new thing, I've got applause glasses. So, okay. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go in the order in which they started, okay? Now, don't save your applause. For, like, be honest. Come on now. Don't, don't say, oh, I gotta give this one an eight and that one. To hell with that. Give us your applause. Are we ready, ladies and gentlemen? Step forward, the women for a mental health course. <laughs> All right, polite applause from the rest of them up here. Polite, but not overwhelming. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, who, uh, who's next? Stevie Nicks. <laughs> All right, so is Kevin Davison eligible for this one too? No, he's not eligible, sorry. Let's hear it for Kevin Davison anyway, guys. Kevin Davison. Okay. Step forward, Adele. Come here, come here. Just before, don't, not, don't applause yet. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Adele's and Jimmy Fallon and the Roots. All right. All right, Bob, stand up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Bob Dylan. <laughs> okay. All right. Who determines the winner? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got these applause glasses. I'm trying to make it work, but it's quite a spectacle. Uh, I'm looking at these guys from a whole new lens. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I'm working. Uh, I, think, I think Bob Dylan, but I, Bob already got an award. Bob got an award. Bob Dylan was unbelievable. I think it goes to Team Adele's. All right? Twins separated at birth, hard to believe. <laughs> uh, applause, we uh, have our fundraising. Didn't I do that one already? Yeah. We have our four fundraising performances. That's done, yeah, done. Women's, blah, blah, it's a tough one. The winner of tonight's, uh, next year, we're gonna hear Joe Ramia is gonna be performing. That's a tough one. Um, what is it? Um, Oh, raffle. <laughs> Let's do the raffle. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to all of our stars, including Kevin Davison. It was a sensational night right here in the Big Apple. Not quite over, over yet. It's time for the Big Anchor Raffle. First of all, another big round of applause for Robert and Joanna Zed. Let's hear it for Robert and Joanna for making this available. Once again, it's five nights or five days and four nights on board the Ciao Bella. A beautiful yacht based in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The trip includes meals, full bar service, your choice of entertainment, limo service to and from the airport, and priceless memories to last a lifetime, and one Z Group golf ball. This prize is generously donated by Vinnie Salentano and Erica Corkum, and donated by Robin Joanna. Said the winner is. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Bob Dylan, come over here. Bob Dylan. Bob, Bob, you come over and pick this. No, I, I can't read 
The winner is Robert Zed. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. No. I got Bob to pull it out so that Rod Begar would not be eligible. The winner is... Uh, must be a doctor. I can't... <laughs> this person lives in HRM. Is there anybody from HRM in the... It looks like Teddy Camo or LeBeau. Teddy Camo. I'm going to give the phone number if I don't see him. Come on up. Way to go. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I don't know if we have the thing, so I'm going to give you this serviette. We can scratch on it later what exactly it is. You take this to Robert Zed and say the mayor sent you. And uh, and he'll take care of you. Thank you. Ladies, is it Teddy Camo? Yes. Teddy Camo, ladies and gentlemen, the winner. Okay, I want to encourage you as the stars leave the stage. Let's give them one more rousing round of applause as they leave the stage to take their places at our post DSOM reception, which will take place across the hall over there, ladies and gentlemen. Show your appreciation. Get off the stage. Okay, as we finish up, thanks again to our presenting sponsor, BMO Bank of Montreal, CTV Atlantic Revolve, Z Events. FMAV and our year-round uh, print sponsor, our friends at Atlantic Digital. We also want to give a big shout-out to Scott Munn from Photo Munn for capturing all of our star photos. That guy was great. Where is he? Here? Put your hand up. Scott Munn, ladies and gentlemen, did a lot of great job here. I want to thank the amazing staff at the World Trade and Convention Center, to Spirit Spa for making all of our stars shine again this year, uh, Hair by Spirit, Makeup by Shauna Vino. Pretty cool. If you happen to think you have what it takes to be a star next year, I just want to give you a little heads up that it's about time that Star Dobson did a song next year. I think I, think I heard that she's prepared uh, to do a duet with the mayor next year. Um, we're, we're, we're thinking Paradise by the Dashboard Light. But um, Liz Rigney said she'd do it with me. Holly Bond said, no, we're not doing that next year. That's just a, uh, uh, a joke. Uh, but if you happen to think you have what it takes to be a star, Alyssa Howard, let us know. The foundation is always looking for solo performers or group acts who want to share their voices, and you know you make an impact. In closing, it's been a great pleasure to be back on the DSOM stage again this year. I started the night as the Phantom. I think it's only fitting to let the other guy here in costume close things out. Where is our naked cowboy? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for TTV Morning Live, Cyril Lunny the bravest man in HRM. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Stevie Dukes in the 42nd Street Band. Steve can play anything. Good night. See you next year. Thank you for helping us change the way people think. Good evening. They say that the old nights are bright. Right.